Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, in this session, I'm going to go through Holloways, the topic, and let's say uh, a library that we want to take over on this course. So Holloways, as you can see, that high level tools to simplify visualization in Python. So guys, this is what exactly we have to look after and we have to take it over, simplify visualization in Python. Uh, that's the reason we want to go through this library. So as you notice here, this library has uh, some, you know, sub libraries, as you notice here, and the two most important and the two widely used libraries are panel and hpplot, as you can see that here. So and also we want to go through these two libraries within this course. So as you notice, panel for making apps and dashboard for your plot for any supported plotting library. So guys, it means, I mean, if you want to make interactive and uh, user friendly visualization, let's say dashboards uh, and visual analytics, you can uh, you can integrate Matplot library, you can integrate Seaboard, you can integrate Plotly, and of course you can integrate Bokeh, right, for the visualization within this course. And uh, also, it's really highly recommended to go through Bokeh as the backend plot. So don't worry about Bokeh. We will go through the course and I will let you know uh, how we can do that. And then HPplot to quickly generate interactive plots from your data. So uh, if we if we want to drill it down, if I go through, let's say, firstly, panel. So if you open panel and then this HP plot, you can get familiar with these two libraries. So panel, the powerful data exploration and web app framework for Python. So you can easily develop your dashboards. You can design your dashboard based on Python with less effort. Let's say with few lines of code, you can develop your dashboard. And uh, that's the reason we want to go through this panel in detail and I'm going to let you know that how you can design very interactive uh, and let's say a lower level callback based APIs in in panel. All right, we can use that. So there are, you know, different uh, examples. If you notice here, like I mean, for this, uh, let's say the k-means one is, you know, you can define how many cluster you want. You can visualize, you know, uh, the, I mean, the attributes and many more, right? We can do it many more, but I want to do it from the scratch. I want to let you know that how we can do that and how we can make it interactive. So, and how we can make plots interactive, we need to go through this HP plot. Okay, HP plot, guys, as you follow me here, HP plot is a powerful and interactive pandas like plot api so guys if you if you have been working with matplot library we had dot plot right we had data frame df let's say dot plot and then you you can define the kind to say what type of you know plot you want to have on your data frame but if you convert dot plot to dot hp plot all right then you can make your uh you can make your uh, visualization you can you can make your visualization interactive as you can see here right it's, it's just going to say df all right instead of plot we have hp plot and then the scatter and the rest is similar to matplot library all right and then here we can see that we can have this uh visualization interactive so uh again don't worry about the detail this is just, you know, how we can go through these libraries to find out how we can work uh, with these libraries. So if I uh, get back here, we have one more, it's called HoloViews, and we definitely use these HoloViews as well because HPplot is basically based on HoloViews. It's going to be on top of HoloViews, and uh, that's the reason that we will also touch these hollow views during the course. If I want to, if I want to recap the, the I mean the topic that what we discussed so far, <clears throat> we can 
uh, we can go through this uh, wrap up file. So in this wrap up file, <clears throat> we said that panel, uh, yeah, panel is a powerful Python library for creating interactive web based or desktop based visualization and dashboard. Editing. All right, and it's basically based on Python. So for instance, if you work with Bokeh for this interactive uh, visualization, uh, from, you know, like let's say from somewhere, you have to work with JavaScript. And if you are not able to work with JavaScript, if you are not a JavaScript developer, it would be really difficult. But Panel is going to really make it easy for us and it's going to be just based on Python. And HPplot, as we discussed, is going to be the interactive mode of plot, which is available in uh, Pandas library. All right, we can have it, you know, very interactive and as i mentioned is built on top of holoviews library again don't worry we will discuss about this stuff in detail so and the uh, the visualization libraries that we can take over here is so we can have plotly bokeh seaboard matplot library as the backend here so but since matplot matplot library is very basic static I am not recommending Matplot library on this case. I do recommend to take over Bokeh as the backend of visualization because Bokeh provides like user friendly, uh, let's say in terms of appearance is really good looking visualization. And of course, visual analytics. And, and one more thing is Bokeh is uh, open source. Okay, if I mean, if you need to get more information, you need to just easily type Bokeh for instance and uh, is here, right? Maybe I would say bokeh, uh, bokeh, bokeh.org. All right, this is the visualization. You can see that as compared to Matplot library and Seaboard is somehow uh, advanced. And also you can see that there are a few new generation of plots that they are not available on Matplot library or Seaboard library. So. Uh, the most important feature here is, is is interactive, all right, and also open source because once it's open source, there there are lots of communities that they are working on Bokeh, and you can learn, you know, this Bokeh. But we guys, we don't need Bokeh, you know, in detail here to know what is this, how how to take it over, because we want to use Bokeh as the backend, right, as the backend of the plot and you don't need to be worried about that. But if you would like to learn how to work with Bokeh, uh, which is which is the perfect library for basically web applications, you can go through this. If you are a Java developer, if you are not a Java developer, uh, you can ignore Bokeh and, uh, and go ahead with panel and HPplot. This is what exactly we want to do uh, during this course. And, uh, the pros and cons of panel. So panel offers user friendly dashboarding with visually interactive element guys. It's super easy to do so that we want to do that. And also it's really great that we can integrate it with popular web frameworks like Flask or like Django if you if you're working with these typical uh, web frameworks. As it comes, uh, I would say that very potential drawback is uh, the support and the resources on the website. Uh, it's not really user friendly in terms of user guide because this panel and Holovis, they are under developing, all right? And still the community is working on this uh, Holovis library or let's say the other sub libraries. They are still, you know, in progress and um, you might find, you know, many information they are missing uh, and might be is going to be really uh, disappointed that you are not able to find the detail of syntaxes, you know, the guideline and the case studies documentation on the website. But in this course, I'm going to really make it easy. Even you cannot find, you know, helpful information on the website about HVPlot. That we said that this is the, the advanced version of plot means advanced version means we want to make uh, visualizations interactive. So easy to use interface built on top of HoloViews. As I said that HoloViews, we use it 
for uh, easy plotting. Also, HoloVS is going to be like somehow like a backend for HPplot. And uh, for accessing the full feature set of Bokeh plot, that Bokeh, as I said, we want to use Bokeh as the backend of visualization on this course. I highly recommend you guys to do it. Okay. So again, don't worry when we start uh, the tutorials. I will show you that how we can do that. It's really super easy. And the cons uh, we can discuss. If you're looking for more advanced interactively or control over your plots, uh, I mean, HP plot, it's not, I mean, uh, a HP plot cannot do everything with his own. All right. It means if you want to take advantage of more advanced interactive, if you want to take advantage of visual analytics with the full, I mean, with the full capacity, uh, we need to mix it with, uh, uh, you know, some libraries here like panel. OK, like panel. So again, we want to discuss about how we can have this HP plot and panel in conjunction with together to make sure that we are able to design a dashboard with full capacity. All right. So uh, if I want to conclude today's discussion, uh, I mean, uh, this HoloWiz is an open source library created by scientific Python communities to provide like an efficient alternative to expensive uh, uh, prior proprietary softwares like Tableau, Power BI, and, and many more, because we know that these, you know, these companies, they want to make visualization easy, right, by just dragging, dropping, and having, you know, wizards to, to, to move forward by some just click and click and click, you can have your visualization. But since these, you know, proprietary software applications and packages, they are really limited, uh, we want to go beyond these limitations and we want to design our own dashboarding to make sure that our dashboard is going to be really uh, taking advantage of uh, these uh, proprietary softwares for visualizations. And uh, panel is suitable for complex dashboarding. All right, what, what exactly we need? We need to have responsive reactive behavior. I'm going to show you that how we can do so during the course. And uh, also, HPplot is suitable for data exploration and quick development. So, because uh, HPplot is going to, uh, to to look after and take over uh, Bokeh or Matplot or Plotly uh, features in detail, and you can easily uh, plot your visualization. And uh, I mean, during this course, during this course that what we want to do really we want to go through you know these goals because uh, for visual analytics we would like to convert the complex problems the complex scenarios into the user friendly visualization let's say like machine learning let's say optimizations and let's say any kind of convex modeling that you you wish to go through it and you want to convert everything from numerical output to uh, the visual uh, to the uh, visual analytics uh, point of view and this is really great to to do so and this is the plan guys we want to do it within this course see you guys see you within next tutorial